Huh. The boys still aren't here. Where the hell are they? They always show up for recording time. How the hell am I supposed to record a damn list by myself? I'm great and all, but geez, man. You know what? Screw this. I'm gonna join the only other people who are arguably just as cool as me. They're sure to help out. One eternity later. If there's a chance that even for a second that the third movie can get above an 80 on Rotten Tomatoes, that's gonna be a huge dub no cap. The hell are you waffling about, man? Both your movies got above a 90 on RT. Are your standards just that fucking low? No, no, you don't get it. That was audience scores, man. I'm talking about the critics. Like, how dare they give my films lower than a 70? What are they retarded? Yo, Sonics, what are you two talking about today? Oh, what's good, Sonic? I was just listening to Sonic yap about his RT critic scores or whatever the hell. I wasn't yapping, dummy. Someone's still salty. They never got Fuck a you, film. Twink. Whoa, hey, Sonic, let's chill out here. We don't need to go antagonizing Sonic today. Oh, I know your ass ain't talking. You got no movies and only one show. Why in the actual hell am I catching a stray? I just want to vibe with my fellow Sonics. You feel? Yeah, I feel. But last time I checked, you had a channel to run with your tails and nucks. So what gives? I honestly have no clue where the boys are at, so I figured I'd stake out here for now. Speaking of which, I was wondering if you and Sonic were up to helping me with a tier list. A tier list? Uh, that's an easy one. We rank my movies, duh. No way, shithead. That's a terrible idea. What? And why the hell is it such a bad idea? Bitch, you got two movies out in one show. That'd make like a four-minute video at most. Oh, I could talk about my stuff for hours and hours on end if you gave me the chance. Dear Lord, you're a menace sometimes. That does give me an idea, though. We can rank all the Sonic movies and shows throughout our history. It'd fit since Sonic is here, too. Oh, fine. I guess any excuse to talk about the theatrical masterpieces that are my films is a good excuse to me. I'm literally about as relevant as a damn shit stain, so I'm down for it. All right, Bet. Tier list time. And for the record, we aren't doing any shorts or any of the short series that didn't come to TV or streaming and all that jazz. That Unleashed short was pretty gas, though. Just shouting it out real quick. Facts. Facts. All right, are, are we starting now? I want to get Sonic's mid-shit out of the way so yourself. we can get to the movies quick. All right, all right. Sonic's let's chill. The tier list is up, and like Sonic hinted at, we're starting with the very first Sonic the Hedgehog show. That being the adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. More like the adventures of Peak, because this show is zooted. I mean, I'm literally peak comedy. Okay, first off, this ain't boom, so I don't know what you're talking about. The hell are you smoking? Second off, the only main Sonic characters the show had were you, Tails, and that fat fucking egg dickhead. What's up with that, bro? Sonic, you literally don't have room to talk when you barely have any OG characters in your films, too. Hey, CGI is expensive, mother trucker. And not to mention my show came out in 93, so there were barely any characters to even pull from. Let me talk about my own goddamn show. I mean, how in the actual hell can we rank the show that gave us Ping as low? It's physically and mentally impossible. Damn straight, Sonic. That shit's still funny all these years later. You guys are seriously using an outdated ass meme to justify ranking this high? Hell yes. yes. Well, fuck me then, I guess. I think it's low B tier at best, since the show doesn't have too many highs, aside from maybe the chaos emerald arc. Nah, screw you, man. This show is fun as hell. Not only is my incarnation peak, but Robotnik and even Scratch and Grounder bring the show up to a bona fide S tier. Well, this is actually all right for me, since I was thinking A tier. The show can be fun at all, but a few other shows and flicks on this list do certain aspects better. Still gotta give the OG respects, though. Way, Way too, too high, but whatever. But whatever. Hey! Shut, shut the, the fuck, fuck up. up! You guys are gonna give me an aneurysm if this is how this vid is gonna go. Whatever. Next up is the Sonic the Hedgehog show, better known as Sat AM. Okay, so this show pulled a lot from the Archie comics. It's honestly not bad, but I preferred Adventures of. Not gonna cap. <sighs> yeah, Why I gotta agree with you on that, Sonic. Like that? I think the ratio for good episodes compared to bad is pretty good, all things considered. But I don't feel that it exactly nailed the more serious tone that it was going for. If I can add my two cents, I never really got the point of most of the Freedom Fighters. Like, it felt that aside from Sonic and maybe Sally, none of them were important. True, bro. I don't even remember half of their names. Like, who is this goofy-ass walrus LMAO? Hey! Fucking hop off my homie rotor, Sonic. But yeah, I guess you're right. I also wasn't a huge fan of Robotnik's new voice. It kind of was too edgy for my liking. I'll go ahead and say the episodes were overall pretty good despite everything. I'm actually fine with putting it in low A tier since B tier might actually be too low. Not to mention there are some people that really, really like this show. So we might get flamed and I don't want to deal with that bullshit. I mean, hey, I'm not going to complain if two out of three of my shows are going in A tier. All right then, A tier for Sad Am it is then. Now we're on to the first real-ass Sonic movie that came out all the way back in 96. The Sonic OVA movie. I'm just gonna say it, this shit was fire back then. 
and it still slaps today. Yeah, I can't really deny that this was a pretty damn good first attempt. It's honestly crazy that they waited over two decades before trying it again with my movies. Can't help but be a little fucking salty that they didn't just reuse me for it and instead use Sonic for that one and only time. I'll have you know that when they used my voice on that faithful day, it was absolutely fire! Holy crap, Lois, it's Sonic! Dude, what's up, Sonic? Nothing much, Sonic. I just so happened to notice you making a tier list alongside Sonic and Sonic, so I waited until just the right moment to do an amazing cut-in. God, your voice is so unsonic, yet I somehow can't help but love it. Seriously, bro has a way with words on God? Well, Sonic, me, Sonic, and Sonic were just talking about your film. You got anything to say? Ah, yes, the Sonic OVA movie. Where do I even begin with this glorious masterpiece of an animated film? Do I talk about the jaw-dropping animation? Do I talk about the amazing music? Do I talk about how every character design slapped harder than a goddamn father on report card day? Do I talk about Knuckles and his badass fucking hat? Well, I just did, everyone. This is one of the greatest movies to ever be made. It has become a cult classic within the Sonic fandom, despite it being fairly obscure and not being received well. I guess you could say that the phenomenon is strange, isn't it? Holy Robotnik on a ping -a sandwich. He said the goddamn line, Bart. Yeah, I don't need to hear anything after that fucking glorious speech. S tier for the OVA, easily. Oh, hey, and now we're at my last appearance ever. Sonic Underground, uh... Thoughts? The hell are you asking us for, man? It's your show. Look, I'm not gonna lie. They hung me out to dry on this mid. I didn't really like it one bit compared to my last two shows. If I recall correctly, this is the show where you were given OC-looking-ass siblings, right? Yeah, that's kind of the whole gimmick. Well, aside from Sonic having to be a part of an underground rock and roll band, but that's besides the point. I'm not sugarcoating it. Sonya and Manic were fucking annoying little shitheads who just leached off my success and complained every single episode. I couldn't stand Manic's punk ass. Yeah, I gotta agree with you. He, he sounded like a bitch. Seriously, if I had a nickel for every cocky, arrogant, green shithead that we've come across, then I'd have four nickels. Which isn't a lot, but it's weird. It's happened four times. Unfortunate for you, Sonic, but I think your last show was a blunder. Wait, wait, hold up. There's one super redeeming factor that I just remembered. Oh yeah? What's that? The intro song. Sonic Underground. Sonic Underground. Okay, you know, you actually got a point. That song is an all-time slapper. Realistically, though, I can't see this song getting any higher than C tier. It certainly didn't help that it only had like 40 episodes in one season with hardly any standouts. Yeah, that's true. All right, C tier does seem like a good fit for Underground. This next one, though, oh boy, it's Sonic X, baby. Now that's a good-ass S tier if I've ever seen one. I can deconstruct that all with one name, buddy. Chris motherfucking Thorndike. Oh, oh God, God, I wanted to punt that kid like a was goddamn annoying. football. That kid was unbearable. But aside from that worthless excuse of a human insert, the show has tons of peaks. The voice acting is great. The characterization is great. And it's overall a genuinely good Sonic anime. We're talking about the Japanese version specifically, right? Absolutely. Nobody likes that dumpster fire that came out on 4Kids. I'd genuinely rather get AIDS than watch that bullshit. Super facts. So, yeah, I think X is a clear-cut S tier, with the only drawback being the human characters sucking dick and balls. Real S tier, that. But look, Sonic, now we're on to your show. It made me laugh my ass off. Facts, like I know Sonic Boom sucks when it comes to the games, but I think the show is a bona fide slapper. Yeah, I just don't see it. I'll give you that. It's pretty damn funny at times but that's literally all that's brought up about the show nowadays. Bro, you're sounding like an all-time hater right now, Sonic! Yeah, why are you hating, you crusty bitch boy? Hey, I'm genuinely being serious. Like, what else is brought to the table with Boom aside from its humor? Actually, to be fair, the show definitely was aimed primarily at a younger audience. The animation could have been better, too. And you can't deny the fact that metahumor gets old after a good while, plus nothing really stuck afterwards, aside from, I guess, Amy's characterization and Sticks being in the canon, apparently. I guess you got a point, but considering most of the jokes hold up, Boom should still get a higher tier. If not S tier, then I'm fine with another A tier. It's still too funny to pass up a high ranking. Alrighty then, we'll go A tier for Boom. Okay, the moment that I'm sure Sonic's been waiting for, the 2020 Sonic the Hedgehog movie. S tier, I'm in it, and Jim Carrey Dr. Robotnik is peak. I'll agree with you on the second point, but you're tweaking. If you think this mid is S tier, this is basically Sonic 2 Light Edition. Damn, now you're sounding like the real hater Sonic, still pissed that I'm the relevant Sonic on TV now. Nah, sorry Sonic, but I'm siding with Sonic on this one. Your first film was a good stepping stone, but it's nowhere near the goats in S tier. Yeah, there just wasn't too much happening in the film. Most of the movie is just a quest to get Sonic's bag of rings while Egghead is on his tail. 
The voice acting and general acting is solid. I mean, Jim fucking Carrey is in it. But still, I don't think it's too interesting of a plot. It also doesn't help the only characters that really matter are Sonic and Robotnik. Well, I guess Tim was okay. Fucking jeez, you guys, I get it. Put it wherever the hell you want, but I expect better for the next movie. All right, all right. Don't get all bitter with us, Sonic. Fuck off, dumb I'm fuck, thinking dumb a B-tier for the first Sonic movie. It isn't terrible, but the sequel is much better. Speaking of the second movie, it appears that's the next entry on the list. Okay, if this doesn't get S-tier, I will literally call up Paramount and tell them to delay the Sonic 3 trailer again. The hell do you mean, again? Is your dumbass keeping the fans away from the trailer to your movie that's releasing in like six months? What can I say? Fucking with Sonic fans' tempers is super funny. Dear Lord, Sonic's asshole behavior aside, I will will agree that this movie is genuinely fire. It's so much more interesting, especially with the addition of Tails and Knuckles. Yeah, since there isn't much expedition needed to the characters anymore, the film can spend a lot more time on actually going on this badass adventure. Very true! And spoiler alert, but the supersonic fight with Robotnik at the end of the film was so fire! I got freaking chills the first watch. The only gripe I have with my godlike film is all the marriage shit with Maddie's bitch-ass sister Rachel. But other than that, it's totally peak Sonic. All right, I think that's a pretty clear-cut S tier. We're going back to animation for our second to last entry on this one because up next is Sonic Prime. Um, uh, yeah, man, this ain't it, Chief. I watched this show for myself a little bit ago when the final season came out and it was just a big pile of nothing. Like, I really don't give a single fuck about all the dimension hopping shit. It was very out of left field because the initial trailers just made the show out to be a well-animated Sonic show that took place in familiar locations. Instead, we got all this alternate reality mumbo-jumbo. To make matters worse, the characterization is horrible. Well, actually, I think they handled Shadow pretty decently, especially compared to the stuff in the games. But that's literally the only really good point I've heard. The dimension hopping could have been cool, but instead we just meet the same six or so characters with different appearances. And that's it. It's lame and could have been much better. Shame on you, Sonic Prime, to the fiery pits of D tier with you. Yeah, get in the bin, Sonic Prime. More like Sonic wasted my fucking time. All right, I think we have one more entry, and I'm pretty sure I know exactly what it is. Yeah, I figured you'd see this coming. Last on the list is The Knuckles Show. Look, I didn't think this show was terrible, but it sure was pretty underwhelming. Seriously, talk about a misleading title. Like, I came into this show wanting to see Knuckles, and instead I get fucking Wade Whipple's dumbass wobbling around with bowling balls. Yeah, the last thing I expected was for Knuckles to turn into a goddamn family drama show that features bowling. I can't even defend that shit. There wasn't even any kind of teaser for Sonic 3 at the end. The only parts of the show that are actually good are when Knuckles is in scene. That's how the whole damn show should should have gone. I mean, like I said, CGI is expensive, but I get where you're coming from. At the end of the day, there's no way it's worse than Prime, but it definitely isn't on par with either movies from Sonic's era. I'm thinking C tier at best. Hey, yeah, I can live with that. So I don't care. All right, and that's a wrap on another tier list in the books. Good work, Sonic, and you too, Sonic. I expected a little more positivity from you, Sonic, but that's okay. I suppose at the end of the day, no matter which Sonic is on screen, the most important part is that you're enjoying yourself while watching our magnificent adventures unfold. Yeah, that, and to not ever invite Knuckles to these since he'll tweak if he saw that, we put his show in C tier. Wait, hold up, Sonic. Do you know where Nux has been the whole time? God damn it, Knuckles! Stop being such a fucking tryhard, you sweat! No, I will not be stopping. Victory will be mine very soon. You bitch! Stop spamming your up air, you goddamn bitch! It is over for you, inferior echidna warrior! Wait, no! No! God damn you, motherfucker! And here's a cool ass shout out to Fireski15. Keith the Fortnite Gamer, I am a tree, Shade Enigma, Yellow Wives on 23 Blocks, Kiri Adazoa, Petrus249, Everdreamer08, Tudor Manguta, X Cyber8, King Johnny, TH445, Matimitus8503, D4CH34, T, Yoshivarus25, Mooney Wilhelm, Juan CL, FFCM15, Stephen Hefner, Raquel Gomez, Money Dynamic Matanya, and finally Uzuka Scarlaboshi for being our Epic Channel members. You all have a good day now. Up, over, and gone.